Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to do a simple little acoustic guitar arrangement of John Lennon's Imagine. Now obviously this song was originally recorded on piano, so this is just a, a guitar arrangement uh, for fingerstyle guitar. So I'm going to work you through. There's going to be basically three sections of the song. The verse that you just heard me play, which is also serves as the intro. Um, the chorus to the song, and then kind of like a bridge section that's kind of an extended bridge section he does a couple of times. I'm sure you'll recognize the parts. So let's start with the the intro part here. We have um, this is going to be based off of a C major chord. Now I'm just holding right now I'm holding my third finger at the fifth string, third fret, second finger at the second fret on the fourth string, and I'm going to have the third string, the open G, I'm going to keep that open. So I just have those three uh, strings. Now in the right hand, we're pretty much always going to be using in this song our thumb for the lowest note, then our index finger, and our middle fingers. Just those three fingers for the finger picking. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to have our thumb pick the note on the fifth string, and then the fourth string is going to be plucked with your first finger, and then the middle finger is going to take the third string. So we're going to hit the second, to start this intro, we're going to uh, hit the middle two strings, the third and fourth strings together with your, your first and middle finger, uh, I'm sorry, your index and middle finger, and you're going to put those two notes, and you're going to come down and pick the fifth string with your thumb. Now do that three times. Then we're going to reach over and grab uh, with our index and middle fingers the second and third string, which turns this into a from a C major chord into a C major seventh chord. But we don't have to do anything different in the left hand uh, in the fret hand down here. We're just going to now pick those two strings instead of the third and fourth. Just going to pick the second, third strings, and then still hit the third, the five down on the third fret, uh, the fifth string down on the third fret. So we have. Then it's going to go to an F major chord, but we're going to keep this C in the bass, which makes it a F major and second inversion. Um, so don't worry about all that. It's going to be pretty much the same picking pattern again. All we had to do from the C chord, move your second finger. You're going to leave your third finger where it's at. Move your second finger over to the third string and put it at the second fret on the third string. And then take your pinky here and put it at the third fret on the fourth string right underneath your third finger there. So we have now fingers on the third, fourth, and fifth strings. Then we go back to the original picking pattern. You're going to pick these two middle strings, the third and fourth, with your index and the middle fingers. And then picking the fifth string once again on that C afterwards. So we have this three times. So we got this so far. And then we have a quick little line here of three notes, a little uh, that, he, that he plays. We're going to start here with your finger that's already at the second fret on the third string. Pick that with your middle finger. Then you're going to come up and play uh, the third fret on the same string. Pick that with your, your index finger. Kind of a chromatic line here, so that's a dissonant note. And then you're going to finish it by picking the second string open with your second finger. So we have this. It's all together. And you just repeat that. Now that's the intro to the song and the verse as well. Uh, then we get to the chorus section. Now the chorus is going to sound like this. Okay, still pretty simple, but a little bit trickier because we got some bar chords and stuff in there. We're going to start with an F major bar chord. Just go ahead and do the entire shape. All right, now the picking pattern that we're going to do here is we're going to pick the sixth string with a thumb, and then we're going to have, um, if you don't know the F major bar chord, by the way, first finger bar, 
the first fret, second finger here at the third, just the same chord we were just playing before these three fingers with your bar, okay? Um, you actually don't need the full bar if you don't want to, but um, uh, actually, yeah, you probably do. So let's take this. We're going to have, we're going to pick the sixth string with a thumb with this full bar down, and then we're going to pick the second and third strings together with it. All right, so we have three notes going at the same time. Then you're going to come over and play the thumb on the fourth string. Then you're going to hit the second and third strings again and the fourth string thumb again. So we have this. So we're letting that low note ring still while we went up here. Did some more of that pattern that we were doing before. So we have this for the first chord. Then we're going to switch to a basic A minor chord, which is just your first finger at the first fret on the second string, third finger at the second fret on the third string, and second finger here on the second fret on the fourth string. Then we're going to do the exact same picking pattern we just did. So you have that low open string with it. All right. Then we're going to come back down. We're going to pick up all we got to do now to get our first chord. You're going to want to kind of mute. Maybe reach your thumb over and touch that bottom string because you don't want it ringing anymore when we get to the next chord. But all you got to do to play it, it's a D7 chord, uh, D minor 7 chord. You're going to pick up your second finger that's on that fourth string. Leave the other two fingers there. And we're going to come here and do the same picking pattern we just did, except instead of that first note being on the sixth string, it's going to be with your thumb, it's going to be on the fourth string. Just on these three strings, you pick them all three together, and then the fourth string, and then these two by themselves, then back to the fourth string. So we got that. And then we're going to leave these two fingers here for the next chord. We're going to reach over and grab your pinky here at the fifth string, third fret, and do the same picking pattern there, except now the thumb is on the it's on the first hit of the thumb when you play all the notes together, it's on the fifth string. And it stays on the fifth string there. Okay, so the, really the only thing that's changing in the patterns is what string we're playing the thumb on. So this whole so far we got this. We're gonna finish up the chorus, we're gonna come up here to this G bar chord, the same as the F bar chord we just did, but up here at the third fret. And we're gonna have that picking pattern where we start with this two fingers here on the second and third string, and the thumb down on the sixth, and then you pick the fourth. And now continue to do the pattern just picking those two second and third with the fourth string thumb. So we're gonna do this, and then See how I did this, uh, so I did the first initial hit, and then the th thumb at the fourth string, and then we're gonna do these two strings, then the thumb, again. Then we're gonna end it with, we're gonna move your first finger to the first fret on the second string. You're gonna pick the first string and second string together with your index and middle, and the thumb now is gonna take the third string open. And then we're gonna end this with a, G7 chord, third finger at the third string, I mean sixth string, third fret, first fr string finger here at the first fret on the first string, and the pinky at the third fret on the second string, and pick, I like to roll them, play them one after the other, you can just play them like that, but the thumb gets a low string, and you'll know by now what strings get what, and now the bridge section goes like this, um, let's see here, where, where are we at, so coming out of this, and we start with the F, So let's go through that real quick. We're going to start with the F chord again. And that same picking pattern that we did on the F before. Then move it up to G and do the same picking pattern there. Then we're going to come to that first chord we played in the intro, of the verse. This, the, oh, these three notes. We're going to pick them all three together at first on the third, fourth, and fifth strings and then the thumb on the fifth by itself. And then 
these two fingers over on the second and third string to play that C major seven chord. Then back down to the, seven, the uh, fifth string with your thumb. So we have this so far. And we're gonna end it with this E to an E7 chord. It's just gonna be your first finger at the third string, first fret. You're gonna pick the sixth string with your thumb and then the second and third strings together. And you're gonna have your first, then your second finger here at the second fret on the fourth string. You're gonna pick that, that's another E, just like the low E. So we have this, then the fourth string here. Then we're gonna come and pick, place your third finger, I'm mean, sorry, your pinky at the third fret on the second string. And you're gonna pick those second and third strings together. And then pick that fourth string again. So from that little line is. And then you start over. And the last line, time, it just goes straight to C. There, it goes back, it does that part twice in the song. The first ending, um, at the last ending at the very end of the song, you just strum the, song, strum the C chord. Or, and, the, and then coming in the middle of the song, it does this. I'm sorry. Uh, So you kind of just go. So what we're doing here is we're just taking, you just play the C. And then you're gonna pick the C by itself. You're gonna hold the C chord, pick those three low notes. Then pick the C on the, the first string, I'm sorry, second string, first fret. And then we're gonna do this little that leads us back to the verse, which is just a third fret down here, the third finger, then to the first fret, hit that C, then the open fifth string, back to that second string, and then uh, second fret fifth string, and then and then back to the verse. So we get this. Okay. So please go to guitarlessons365.com, support the site, let me know what else kind of lessons you would like to see, and um, support the site in any way you can so I can continue to do these uh, free video lessons. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.